Hello, today we want to do another video about how to navigate PyCharm in the context of learning Carol the Robot in Python with Stanford University's Coding Place class. In our previous video, we talked about how to open the terminal and the Python console, and then we talked about the general idea of PyCharm organizing code projects by folders and also by tabs when you open them you can easily view and navigate so if we open our folder which where all the assignments are in or your code project lives uh, i want to quickly visit the carol world file so how do we define a world for carol it actually always starts with a dot w extension w for world and you can see if it's a one by one world you can literally read it off here. It starts with Street 1, Avenue 1. That's where Carol is starting and uh, here. And the, the world dimensions are also one by one. It's just one cell. And the beeper bag is infinite, and Carol is moving at speed of 0.75. In this way, you can programmatically change a lot of things. But careful not to change anything before your assignment so your assignment can work um, when being validated by the instructor's code. But it's kind of cool, like even the really complicated uh, Carol, um, you can see that it's human readable. You literally know where the beepers are, where the walls are, uh, etc. And you can create your own world. How cool is that? Today we want to talk briefly about how to, how to navigate more files while it's being kind of confusing. Um, this is completely optional. You are not required at all to know all any of this in week one or even week two. Week one is control flow, just programming algorithm basics. Uh, week two is um, variables, etc. But I think PyCharm is a professional tool that all my developer friends use, so I think it might be helpful to know. So imagine I want to figure out, Just I just want to run any file, let's say this one. Remember to click the bottom to open terminal. Um, Python, I don't have to type in 3 because in PyCharm I already selected 3 as 3.8 as my Python interpreter. So it's already in Python 3. I can say midpoint Carol. And right now I just expect it to do nothing because I haven't coded anything. I just want to illustrate how to do a paint Carol and how do you know what colors Carol can paint? What are some of the Stanford specific uh, Carol functions? So. Uh, how, how do I figure out uh, where to look for the pink color option? First of all, I can read the documentation, uh, which is the Carol reader, but I didn't find too much information on that yet. Um, well, here is, here's a hint. Anything my Carol can do here is literally imported from the carol.stanford.carol file. So, um, so there's this Carol file, and then this is the Stanford Carol. You can see it's, what's kind of nice is that all the valid colors here are, um, Stanford has wrote a shortcut for you. These are environment variables because they're all in capitalized letters, like red. But essentially, it translates what's stored in this variable is literally the string, the text, red, all in lowercase. Um, From both the documentation and the lecture, we can probably guess there is a paint underscore corner function. And it will just print the, the current corner, uh, it, which is a dot, but it will print the full cube, and the full um, square, the color you want it. And this is in caro.py, where uh, Stanford Carol essentially is then from. So, um, and when we look at here, it takes a variable color. And we know that's a string. So, so there's a little bit of confusion. One student mentioned that maybe it's like you, you have to have everything all caps. The all caps are just environment, environment variable that actually stores a string. And what does the string have to do? You might have seen this error, which is Carol attempted to paint the corner with color, the color you specify, which is not valid. It's saying the color must be color map dot values. It's a little confusing. I initially tried to do the keys, but it has to be in values. So this is um, defined in Carol definition. You can also get this hint uh, by reading comments and also 
looking at the import statements here as well. So uh, what's nice is that PyCharm kept my files on the left and all my files that are viewing in tabs format. So now we can see that if we control F or command F, uh, you, you can already see a color map. And you can see that we have to pull any of the valid values. So it can be red, black, cyan. Um, what's interesting of note is white is actually snow. So here you go. This is how you navigate the files which pretty complicated. Essentially, you're trying to um, click on the source files on the right folder and also kind of read the documentation, read the comments, and read the import statements. Those are hints for you to where to look.